Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this host already contains virtual guests when you're trying to join a single Proxmox server into your cluster environment. Now, usually with the cluster environments, you want to create your cluster first and then join your multiple servers into that cluster before you start creating VMs. But sometimes that doesn't always work out as planned and you have servers created and you don't want to delete them or anything. Now, there's multiple ways to do this. You can back up the server, delete it, then restore it between adding it to the cluster. Or to me, the simplest way is to to literally power down your VM. So once you power it down, then open up WinSCP. We love using this tool. It's very easy. Then we wanna go to that IP address of that server, which is the 192.168.8.74. We're gonna log in as root, wait for that to load, and then hit yes. Now we wanna browse to ETC, because we're trying to find the config file for that virtual machine, and then PVE. Then we're looking for QEMU-server. So there is this 799, which is the ID of our server here, config file. So in there is like the config file of where it points for the drives, if it's got a mapped ISO on there, the memory, CPU cores, all that good information. So all we gotta do is just move that config to our desktop. So we wanna back it up, make sure it's backed up, delete it from here. Once it's deleted, you can see it disappears from your environment and you're like freaking out because you're like, did I just delete all my data? No, that's just a configuration file to where it tells Proxmox what resources it needs, where's the virtual disk. So once that's deleted, now it's basically saying, hey, I don't have any virtual machines, right? So now we can simply go, it's kind of like a little hack. So now we can go to join cluster, go back to our main uh, server here, get that clustered uh, information by going to data center, cluster, join information. We're going to copy that information, go back to that server join we're going to put in our root password here then hit join now we're not going to get that error and it's going to join to that cluster now so like i said this can take some time because it's got to restart some services create some config files so let's give it some time to do this it might actually even pop up so we, let's go back to our host here and look yeah it's already there so like I said, sometimes when it's doing this joining, you actually have to log out and log back in for this to start working again. But we're gonna give it some time here. I might refresh, but you can see the VM's already popping up and it's being added to our cluster environment. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab here. Let's log into the server again to see if, if it's done. Sometimes it just needs to re-log in for this to work. And like I said, we're logging into that fourth host that was not previously added to the cluster. So if we log in and see all the other VMs, like we do, we know we did it right. So now you're thinking, okay, well, that's great, but where's my VM from that host? So let's go back to WinSCP and just simply drag that config file that we backed up back into there, give it a couple seconds and it should refresh. And there we are. And it should say the name here shortly. There we go. So now you can click on that VM and then let's power it up to make sure it's working. We should get a Windows. This is a Windows Server 2022. So it should, yep. I can see we're getting the Windows loading screen now. If we go back to the tab that was doing the join cluster, it looks like it did refresh finally. Um, sometimes you have to re-log in, like I said, in a new tab and then it works. And we are showing all of our servers on every tab now. It's showing that new host. So that's how you can get around without deleting your host and doing it in what? three minutes i mean it's pretty quick and there it is booting up everything's fine didn't lose any data didn't lose any vms nothing so there you guys have it hope this video was helpful and if you have any other information or like to comment please leave it in the description below